Year after year, people keep asking me, George, how do I become consistent in creating, distributing content like you? At all, so many people, maybe yourself also, wants to be consistent in creating content because you know that there are so many benefits to your business and for yourself in showing up consistently, right? Now, you've heard that old saying that, you know, something like 90% of success is showing up. And the longer I've been around running my business, the longer, the more I've seen that that is true. I'm still here showing up consistently, whereas most of my peers that I started with 14 years ago are no longer showing up consistently. So what is it about consistency of showing up? I mean, why is it that I'm able to do it and so many people cannot? Well, there are multiple reasons, but I think one of the biggest, maybe the biggest reason, okay, is that I have a different perspective on what creating content means for me and for the world. And I hope you can take on a perspective as powerful as this one for yourself. So I believe that with the way that you have been built, okay? And I'm, I'm talking about it in terms of you so I can hopefully inspire you to become more consistent in your own goals for content. But the way that you, you've, you're built, your life experiences, your style, your personality, the way that your face looks, the way you move your face, everything about you has this unique combination I call energy signature that nobody else has. And your unique energy signature is the perfect match for a bunch of people out there that you don't even know who they are yet because they most of them haven't discovered you. But that's how I was able to create videos so consistently in the early years when I had no followers. I has, my first year, I spent a year creating videos consistently, at least one a week. It was like three times a week in the beginning. Actually, very beginning was five times a week. And then I petered down to three times a week. The first year, I got very few likes on my videos for an entire year. And how was I able to be so consistent even then? was because I began, I, this was maybe by chance, and now I'm sharing it with you, and hopefully you don't have to do it by chance. I began with this belief. I kept practicing this belief that I know they are out there. I know my people are out there. I know that I'm going to be weird to a lot of people. I know that to a lot of others, I'll be boring. To a lot of others, I may be, I don't know, a turn off in whatever way. But to a bunch of other people, who will discover me eventually, I will just be the right match for them. Like my content will somehow, with my heart expressed, be like, like a ministry to them, <laughs> right? And that's really how I started seeing creating content. And I hope you will take on this kind of powerful belief for yourself too, to practice this powerful belief that your content for the right people is like a ministry in itself without you having to do anything other than showing up consistently, sharing something you feel is important or meaningful for you at the very least, but you believe maybe it's, an, it's helpful for others as well. It's maybe it's inspiring for others. Maybe it's, you know, helps them, you know, describe something that they couldn't describe before or to put some meaning to an experience that they didn't have before, whatever it may be, your content is a ministry to a bunch of the right people. And the way I like to talk about it is imagine a hundred thousand random internet users in the world, a hundred thousand random internet users, your content is the right fit for at least one of those hundred thousand, at least maybe even 10 of those hundred thousand. Well, if it's even one out of a hundred thousand, did you know? that that means your content is the perfect match for 50,000 internet users out there because there are 5 billion, there's more than 5, 5.3 billion as of you know last year. Your content is the perfect match. Your energy signature is like a bomb, like a ministry, like a, an oasis in the desert for like 53,000 people. And so the more you practice and show up consistently, exploring the most authentic parts of yourself 
and also in service to those 50,000 of your right people, which is not most people, right? Most people who are going to see your stuff, they think it's boring. They think it's not meaningful, whatever. But for the 50,000, it's perfect. Just with your authentic expression, it's perfect. So are you willing to show up for them? And by the way, you even if you have, you're just starting out today and you have zero followers, you already have one of those ideal audience members. Yourself, of course. You are your ideal client. I mean, you if you find, if you feel it when you create and you feel like, okay, that felt like I really explored deeply or that felt like I really was in service without attachment to if people like this or if people buy from me, that, that's part of that's part of the belief and the faith in your potential is it's not attachment to, well, no one bought today. So this, no, then you won't show up consistently because you'll, you, you've, you've started off on the wrong foot. But if you start by saying, no, no, I'm doing this to explore myself deeply. And, and, and there's never an end of exploration for the rest of my life. I'm going to keep showing up to explore myself deeply and to practice my heart of service for the, the right people. There's no end to this. This is why I show up all the time consistently because I, I practice that belief. I really, really believe that. So I hope that for yourself too, so you can show up consistently. And by showing up consistently, what happens? Of course, you're going to get better at creating. And you're also going to get learn and get better at distributing your content to more of the right people. I hope this is helpful. I truly wish for you that level of consistency that produces your true skillfulness and your true energy signature expressed to just the right people. Thanks for watching.